Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm about to start working on this. Well, we're already working on this Grady White. I think he said it's a Marlin 300 Grady White. It's a big beast of a boat, 30 footer, walk around cutty. So I'm gonna show you what we're doing so far. So I've got the lovely wife over here working on um, these seat cushions with the Marine Series um, vinyl mold remover. And unfortunately she got started before I could shoot this video, but these were really, really bad. I really wish I could show you how bad they were and how well the product worked, but they're gonna look great when, uh, when everything is cleaned off of them and they're done. So she's working on that, and I'm about to work on this very oxidized hull. You can see up there how oxidized it is. Um, I have already taped up the water line, or yeah, the water line, but the reason I tape this is uh, the bottom paint is very porous, so if you hit it with the polisher, uh, the polish is gonna leave a stain and ain't nobody got time for that crazy inconsistent stuff so anyway there's that beast i'm falling backwards so we taped around that window up there i got all the water line taped all the way around that window is taped but you can see how very dull that top deck is and the hull has very little shine, but we're gonna shine it up. So this is before on this beautiful Grady White. So there's what she looks like now. Uh, I did have, I'll go ahead and take you up in there. This is what the transom looks like. Tony has already been in here vacuuming everything out. So she vacuumed everything So I got to get up here. We are going to hand polish this plastic, um, but you can see how lackluster this top deck is. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get to work on this bad boy. So here we go. Hey there, Detail Juice Nation. It's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. We're back here for day two of this Grady White 300 Marlin 30 foot boat detail. And uh, I'm just gonna show you where we're at uh, starting day two. And I'm just gonna get back to work because it's a big beast with lots of real estate to polish and it needs a lot more work. So here we are to begin day two. I'm about to start polishing down there. We got some gloss on both sides. Uh, most of the interior is done. I got the T-top straight around the edges. Um, I'm gonna start right here on the polishing, but you can see how glossy that top deck is from here. And you can see the gloss up there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down so we can get to work. We'll be back shortly. All right, guys. So I guess you can see where I've already compounded. This tape line is right there. Looks pretty good for a 16 year old boat. So, um, this is actually from the decal right there. So, I'm using the gel coat oxidation eater in the new 32 ounce size, which is not on the website yet. It will be soon. And I'm um, trying to restore some gloss to this big beast. So, that's where we're at. You can see gloss, not gloss. 
looks pretty good so i'm gonna keep on keeping on and i'll bring you guys back when i have more to show um my tape on the bottom paint turned out not to be a winner unfortunately so i'm gonna have to clean all that polish residue and crap off of the bottom paint but whatever anyway getting some decent results i'm gonna keep on keeping on all right we're finally finished i put a bunch of extra of my my marine series ceram acrylics pro hybrid coating we slathered it on there this boat very rarely ever uh, has any shade barely ever gets a, a proper detail so I wanted to try to extend it as long as possible and uh, the ceram acrylics marine series coating is a solvent based coating that um, will soak into the the gel coat and then you just basically knock off the excess but what i didn't do was knock off the excess i left it on there um, the molecules will move to the outside of the gel coat and when it is washed the next time or the first time after this detail uh, it'll knock all that down to be nice and even um, as far as the top deck goes I'm not gonna get in because my feet are dirty, but I will get my step ladder and we'll come over here. Um, you can see gloss there that was not there before over in this area here. Nice and glossy. I gotta get a little spot right there of these issues. We see how nice and glossy it is. And then the top definitely looking good up there. So I'm gonna finish just the couple small things I need to do. Gotta get this orange off the water line on both sides you can see there's a little bit in there up in there and then this issue here i'm going to take care of that and then i'll shoot my complete outro okay so i'm up here on the uh, top deck i just want to show you how nice and glossy everything is up here looks great Nice and glossy. Looks good. Very happy with that. So Tony usually does the interiors while I'm working on the polishing. Uh, we actually polish the floors. Uh, I'm sorry. Tony polished the floors. Um, just wiping stuff as I walk. Um, what else? She got all this flooring polished. Wow, Tony, you did a great job. Looks good in here. Really, I'd be happy to present this to fishing buddies. Um, I got the mats all straight. I showed you those, I think, in an earlier clip. He's got those in his garage now, but... I uh, clean those with the vinyl mold and mildew cleaner. It works awesome. And then uh, we cleaned them up after that with the uh, vinyl, weather resistant vinyl protectant. So, um, Tony also hand polished inside and outside of this plastic. And you can see it's got some pretty nasty scuffs that are really deep. That you can't really do much about because by the time you get to the bottom of those scuffs uh, you're thinning out the plastic pretty good and he's already got a couple of issues so anyway that's the outside before i step out into the sun i'm gonna go ahead and switch gears on you and do my outro so this is a 2004 grady white uh 300 marlin beautiful boat huge massive boat lots of real estate to polish but 
we got it done. Thank you guys for basically listening to me babble, taking the time out of your day to listen to me babble. Uh, I want to just tell you I appreciate you guys for doing that. And uh, if you got any questions for me, 813-846-4406 is my cell. Um, you can also check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we only talk about my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. So if you want to be a part of that, want to learn about the Gary Dean situation, check it out. We'll let you in there and uh, you'll get to learning. Um, but again, thanks for watching my videos and check out detailjuice.com if you need some awesome detailing products and use my cell number if you got questions about your detailing endeavors. Thanks so much for watching guys and have a great day.